Good morning, everyone. Um, it's raining here in not so sunny Philadelphia. And I finally have time to respond to the orchid tag. So here is my video on that. Um, I know many of you have seen lots and lots of orchid tag videos. So if this does not interest you, that's totally cool. Stay tuned for a video about this orchid here. It's coming up. I just want to wait until the flowers fully open before I do a full length video. Um, <clears throat> so I have split this video up into 10 segments and I have the timing below. So if there's one specific question that you're curious about, you can skip ahead. Right on, let's get started. How long have you been growing orchids and which was your very first orchid? I have not been growing orchids for very long. Maybe two years, maybe less, maybe probably about a year and a half, two years. Um, I got my first orchid as a gift, like most people, it was a fowl, um, and I killed it. And then I got another fowl, and I came close to killing that too. But before I killed it, um, I was hosting a bunch of people for my friend Nico's wedding. And one of them was this really, really nice guy named Dylan, who one morning said to me, you know, Anna, I can tell you how to take care of orchids so that you don't kill them. This was after I complained to him about how I didn't really understand why my plant was dying. And of course, it was because I was doing the ice thing, the just add ice thing, because I didn't know. And the plant was just really not happy. So, um... Yeah, he gave me lots of advice, and the more he told me about orchids, the more fascinated I became. And then later, he sent me a few websites and links, um, which included, I believe, a video by Miss Orchid Girl. And once I saw a video by Miss Orchid Girl, I knew I was in trouble, because Miss Orchid Girl has amazing, amazing orchids. And after that, I did more research and I kept on buying plants. And yeah, here we are today. And I love it. It's my all time favorite hobby. What is your all time reason, or what is your main reason for growing orchids? <clears throat> um, like most people, I am fascinated by how they grow. Um, I think that it's remarkable that these are plants that if you care for them properly, they will basically live forever. Maybe not forever, but for a really long time. I think that's really unique and really, really fascinating. Um, I also feel like growing orchids is a combination. It's a really nice combination between an artistic sensibility and scientific sensibility. You learn a great deal about many aspects of science, about chemistry, about biology, but you also maintain this really beautiful aesthetic throughout it all. Um, there are lots of plants that, that do this. I think gardening in general is, is very artistic in many ways, but I find that with orchids, they are so just time consuming and rewarding that it continues. It, it, it really just keeps my attention. Also, because there are so many, so many species of orchid, you really, it's hard to get bored. I mean, sure, some of them are impossible to buy or to find for purchase, but just hearing about new plants or seeing, you know, articles about it and, and looking at incredible photos of their flowers and of the, of the plants themselves is also very, very rewarding. Um, the other reason I grow orchids is because I really needed a hobby to keep myself busy after I stopped drinking. And this was kind of a perfect hobby for me because it could feed my kind of obsessive personality. I have slight, slightly obsessive personality. And um, it was healthy. I mean, I don't, I try not to spend too much money on the plants. So um, I try not to spend more than $25 on a plant, which means a lot of plants are, you know, out of my price range, but that's okay. And I also 
um, feel good about this hobby. This is like something that makes me feel good about myself and about my life. It makes me happy. And I think that most of us feel that way, right? Most of us feel really happy when we grow an incredible, incredible flower. It's just, it's, it's a really, it's just a wonderful thing. Sorry, I know I'm like repeating myself. Do you grow any other plants besides orchids? I do. Um, I'm not as obsessive as I am about orchids, but I grow whatever plants I can get my hands on that I think are pretty, that work as houseplants. And then I also have um, an outdoor area where I grow, and it changes every season. But my husband really enjoys succulents, so we have many of those, but he really cares for them. And um, I have one cactus, no, two cacti, I have uh, also a bunch of these little Christmas cacti. I have three of them currently. Um, two are the same, they're from the same mother plant. They're a gift. And another um, is a larger one that I bought from Trader Joe's. And then I also have, um, you know, your typical house plants all over, the, all over the place. I really have only just started recently learning a, that, a lot about plants. Um, so I really don't know that much about them and it's been really fun to learn uh, to get advice from people on YouTube to do research on my own and just you know to experiment what are your three favorite orchid genera dendrobium I love dendrobiums I don't know that much about them but I'm learning I have a giant book in my office that's all about dendrobiums and I'm learning about them I think they are so weird and I love weird weird orchids the weirder the better so because of that my second favorite and this is in no particular order I love catacetums hey stop that <laughs> um I love catacetums I think they're so cool they are so fascinating and so strange and then my third I want to be like everybody else and be like Cattleya but because I have so much trouble growing them I can't be on the Cattleya train uh, maybe someday I will be once I figure out how to get them to bloom for me um oh yeah have any opinions about that Neon disagrees um, so I'm going to have to say Phalaenopsis, and it's funny that I say that because I used to go on and on about how I couldn't stand Phalaenopsis. I was just like, oh, they're so boring. They're so easy to grow. But you know what? They're not actually boring, and a lot of people do have trouble growing them. Um, I'm, I'm lucky, and Phalaenopsis grow very easily for me. I don't have all that many. I should get more. I don't have any species. I should get more, um, and I think that they have really amazing leaves. I know people don't usually like their leaves, but what I like about them is that they kind of have a little bit of a, almost like a squish to them when they're not happy. So you you can tell from the leaf whether or not they, they're, you know, properly watered. They have amazingly beautiful roots. I just, I love their roots. And their flowers are lovely as well. There's so many different kinds. So um, yeah, Phalaenopsis is back on there. Which of your orchids do you like least and why? Well, I cannot stand my Oncidium orchids. I really hate them. Um, I know I shouldn't hate my plants, but I just find them really irritating. It's really hard for me to keep them happy and they haven't bloomed, rebloomed for me. I have a sherry baby. If somebody wants to trade a sherry baby for something, please let me know because I really don't even want this plant anymore. And then I have a giant monster that I think some of you have seen in my um, some of my past videos that I keep kind of separated because it's so big it doesn't fit anywhere um, and I should divide it and I just haven't because its roots are all entangled I put it in the wrong kind of pot and I just I didn't know what I was doing when I when I got them um, and this one is an orange oncidium and I really hate orange like some orange flowers sure okay I'll I, I do like them but it's rare that I like an orange flower, so 
I kind of, I'm keeping that one because it was given to me as a gift and I don't want to be like, I hate your gift. Thanks anyway. But a part of me is really wondering whether I should even bother with this plant. Um, does that make me seem har horrible and harsh? Maybe. Well, it's okay. I don't have to like everything that, um, that I own. So I don't think I'm ever going to buy another Oncidium. I don't want to say never, but sure, Oncidium Twinkles, they're really cute and beautiful. Um, I don't really care about my orchid smelling, so the fact that the Sherry Baby smells like chocolate really doesn't do it for me anymore. I got it more like for novelty's sake when I first learned about them. It was kind of like my third orchid that I ever bought, and I just, I regret it. I regret that I bought it. So, you know, it's a, it's a really beautiful orchid, and to each their own, but for me, I just am not super into them. That's all. How many orchids do you have at the moment? I only have 30. Now it's funny because like to you guys I say I only have 30 and everyone's like oh my god that's like nothing. But when I tell people who don't care about orchids that I have 30 orchids they're shocked. They don't really understand. Um, 30 is not that much. It's a good amount. I would like to get more. I'm working on that. Um, I have some plans for plants that I want. Some of them are dendrobiums. I guess I'll get to that when I get to my orchid wish list. But um, I think 30 is a good amount. It, it means that I can focus my attention on my plants. Um, it means that I don't lose track of them. It also means that I get really sad when they're not doing well. So <clears throat> there's that. And then I'm also gonna combine this with what kind of growing space do I have? Um, I use, use my windowsills for most of the time. I have a southwest facing windowsill, many southwest facing windowsills, that one's one. I also have a northeastern, a few northeastern facing windowsills, and then I have a, a bunch of other kinds of windowsills with very, very low light that don't really, aren't really suited for orchids. Um, so it's, it's works fine. It's fine. It's not ideal. You know, obviously having a greenhouse would be awesome, but that's not really going to happen. Not anytime soon anyway. Um, and so it works for me because in the summers, and I just started doing this last summer, last August, I put my plants outside and this summer is going to be very different because now I know more about what I'm doing. So these babies are going to go outside as soon as it gets warm and they are going to go crazy. And I'm really excited for that. But um, I also love the winter because I get really beautiful flowers in the winter. And I like that my plants are inside in the winter. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like winter is not all that bad. Have you ever lost a particularly beloved orchid or expensive? Well, expensive I don't really, like I said, spend too much money on orchids. It's my rule, try to stick to it. But um, my Bala Patellum Midnight Blue Cardinals Roost died. There's a few videos on it um, in my channel. I don't know if any of you remember them. It's cool if you don't, no big deal. But it was a really awesome orchid, I really liked it. And um, yeah, it, it died. It was really not doing well and it just died. It bloomed for me once. Um, they were incredibly beautiful. I'll include a picture. It smelled wonderful. I know I said I don't really care about the scents, but it smelled like roses and roses are just, they're lovely. Um, and I was really, really sad about that. I might buy another one sometime, someday, but for right now, I know I don't really want Zygo Battalions. I don't really want, I don't, I don't need Zygos. Um, it's not that I don't like them, I do like them, but um, I don't really want to grow them all that much. They are really beautiful. Maybe I'll change my mind, who knows. But um, I was really bummed about that plant, for sure. Which orchids are on my wish list? Um, ugh, so many, so, so many. I won't bore you with a list, but um, I want a whole bunch of different dendrobiums. I'm trying to really branch out with the dendrobiums. I don't really care that much for the nobulae type. I mean, I do like them. I think they're really interesting and beautiful. Um, but I'm more interested in different varieties. Um, and there's so many different varieties and 
they're so beautiful. They're just like, they're incredibly fascinating. So whatever really likes to have dry winter rests are good for me because I don't have a greenhouse. Um, but there's a few dendrobiums out there that are just like mind-blowingly beautiful. So I've got a list of those. Um, I have quite a few Catacetum types. Um, I might try to get more Mormodia types because I like that they uh, bloom when the pseudobulbs are leafless. Um, and I think that looks really interesting. Uh, and then once I figure out how to grow Cattleya as well, I would like to get some more Cattleyas. Um, they're a challenge for me, as I've said. So we'll see. And then, you know, whatever kind of strikes my fancy. I really want to get some Phalaenopsis species. Um, they're huge though, I need to find smaller ones. And I also need to figure out my eastern uh, shelf space situation because I've run out of shelf room on eastern windows. But once I find uh, a new way to maintain plants on the other side of my house, um, I should be able to get some more. So yeah, there's probably more that I just can't think of at the moment. Um, but we'll see. I, I want to see if I kill that Lelia that that Isis sent me. Um, it's it's intimidating. It's a really large plant. Uh, if I can somehow get that to bloom, I don't know if I ever could, but if I could, Lelias might be really awesome to start collecting as well. They're really, really strange looking. <laughs> I really like them. So that's about it for the orchid tag video. Thanks for watching and thanks for Isis, uh, or thanks to Isis for tagging me. I am tagging, let's see, how do I pronounce this? Oogalaboo? How did I do? Was that all right? I'm not sure. I am tagging her. She has a great channel if you haven't seen it. Um, she's got really incredible plants and seems like a really nice person. So I'm tagging you. Um, have a wonderful weekend and happy growing.